What's up, everybody? Welcome back, Colliders, to another episode of TikTok News with me, JW, Miss Diva Talks. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Alright, so this, the <laughs> title of this video is What's Something That's Not a Cult But Fiends <laughs> Like a Cult? And of course, you already know what my answer is. Church. Yeah, I said it. Alright. What do you think that, you know, is something that's, you know, you know, not a cult, but seems like a cult? Corporate America. I, yes! High five! No, because you played me in the last episode. <laughs> I went off the deep end. You, you gonna leave me hanging? You, you gonna leave me hanging? I got you. <laughs> not sure I got you. Play too much. <laughs> exactly. Alright, let's get into this video, y'all. Okay, what's something that's not a cult but seems like a cult? Norland Nanny College. So this is a college where basically you go after school and you learn how to be a professional nanny. They all have to wear the matching super strict uniform and they learn... Yo, why do they look like, like the, the um... No, they look like the um... The Disney movie? Shut up! They look like um the characters from The Handmaid's Tales. Um, I gotta watch The Handmaid's Tales. Uh... What did they call her? Linda? Something with an L. But if you watch Handmaid's Tale, you know exactly who, who I'm talking about. They look exactly like them. Learn self-defense. And these girls basically end up the nannies to like the royal family. If you watch the like open day video, the girls are all walking around like this smiling like it is a cult. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it looks like they've been like held hostage or something in a bunker for 25 years the way they're all standing here in the matching outfits they're like some sort of nanny army <laughs> okay what's something that's not a cult but seems like a cult so in new zealand i'm pretty sure we have a cult called gloria vale look them up um it's super weird it's like this community of christians who are like born on this farm and they don't leave if they leave you're like they're not allowed to come back and they don't know how the outside world works they're literally brainwashed they have like no technology they all wear like nunnery outfits and basically they're like bred and you grow up and you marry young and have lots of children because they don't believe in contraception and it's just really weird so the amish Okay, what's something that's not a cult, but seems like a cult? I'm actually a little bit nervous to say this, because I feel like I might get a bit of hate, but hear me out. This. I'm sure she's a lovely lady, and she obviously means really well, but this. Mrs. Hinch, the hinching thing. Listen, I love organisation and as much as the next person, but something about this doesn't sit right with me. Maybe I'm just jealous. Maybe I'm envious of how much these people have their shit together and how organised they are. It's a beautiful home. And if this is your style, if this is your preference, then great, lovely, like I'm happy for you. But for me, personal opinion, if everything in my house, if every room was grey like the surface of the moon, it would send me over the edge. Just a little, little spice. Just a little spice. Okay, what's something that's not... Not everybody likes colour, okay? Goodness. Not a cult, but seems like a cult. Dutch Bros Coffee. Dutch Bros Coffee. I worked there for four years. At the ripe little age of 18, they come to you and say, hey, do you want to work with a bunch of other people your age with endless amounts of caffeine? Do you want to eat, sleep, and breathe EDM, happiness, sunshine, rainbows? We're going to send you to a little convention where Macklemore, Jeremy Zucker, Bozzy, Khalid are going to put on a private little show for all of us. You're essentially in a co-ed frat with all of your co-workers. You are literally called the Dutch Mafia. Certain people are selected to go help open new stores and they're called mobsters. Every single store has an entire fleet of young, attractive, positive people working there. And all you talk about is your job, all of the people that you hang out with are from your job, and everything that you can think about outside of work is how either work was the best day of your life or the worst day of your life. Co-workers on their days off would still come through the stand just to see how everyone was doing because that's how addicted we were to the job okay what's something that's okay um i ain't never experienced something that deep me neither it's not a cult but seems like a cult this is ray dunn ray dunn is a brand they've done a lot of things but this is what they're most famous as you can see super minimalistic you got a teapot that says tea on it 
and the ceramic was always misshapen, but it's good quality. I used to work at Home Goods, which is a part of the TJ Maxx stores. The reason these are so special and sought after is because they're only sold in TJ Maxx stores. Now the two people that are going to buy these things are collectors and resellers. Collectors collect them and resellers buy a $7 mug and resell it for $40 on eBay. We used to have a group of five women who would come to our store an hour before the employees even showed up just so they could be the first people to buy the new Ray Dunn stuff. I've seen customers get in fist fights over it. We've had employees threaten to be beat up by a customer just because they gave out the last Ray Dunn item. We as employees were not allowed to buy Ray Dunn unless it had been on the floor for more than 24 hours and even then we had to buy generic and not seasonal items. This was grounds for termination if we were caught doing it. Only managers were allowed to handle Ray Dunn and put it out on the floor in the morning because customers would go crazy and literally try to start fights. It was so dangerous. People devoted their lives to it. It was fun. Okay. That's something I've never even heard of. Wow. <laughs> What's something that's not a cult but seems like a cult? This ring is given to engineers in Canada when they graduate from their university degrees. And the ceremony to get this ring is very secretive. Only people who already have the ring can attend, so parents are not allowed to attend. Um, you have to recite an oath. It's all in dark. You're wearing hooded, uh, hooded cloaks. Um, and in mine, the University of Waterloo, they had us carrying a giant chain um, full of links while we recited the oath. And then only an engineer who already has the ring is allowed to put the ring on your finger. Um, and then you complete your uh, oath ceremony and are officially an engineer. Um, it might actually be a cult now that I think about it. But yeah, engineers in Canada, definitely. What? With all that going on, I definitely say that that was a cult. Yeah. Something that's not a cult, but seems like a cult. I might not be the first one to say this, but Waldorf schools and other organizations based on the Steiner method of education. Lots of scholarship around Waldorfism actually does classify it as a cult, and I wouldn't necessarily disagree. While every branch might not meet every criteria to be a cult, I tend to refer to the one in which I grew up as a cult when I'm pinched for time, and most branches and Waldorfism in general certainly meet the criteria to be a cult-like high control group. Waldorf schools package themselves as an art-based alternative to public education, but in reality, it's indoctrination into a highly rigid, highly specific philosophy that you're expected to live this Waldorf lifestyle in and out of the classroom, going so far as to make you think that non-Waldorf people are bad and that you're expected to report your parents if they break a rule. You're not receiving much of an education besides the right way to do art, and interpersonally, you're told that being bullied is your karma, and they categorize you as the kind of person you're supposed to be from an early age, and if you do something outside of that box, you're seen as deviating. I've been out longer than I was in, and I'm still on learning brainwashing about my own identity. I could go on and on about sexism and racism, but this article's a great place to start. What's up? Okay. That is definitely a cult, and very deep as hell. Uh, I'll say. Something that's not a cult, but seems like a cult. <laughs> okay, I got this one. <laughs> So I go to Queens for Engineering, uh, and here are some highlights of that program that is more tame now than it used to be, but it, it's, a, it's a cult. Just first off, our frosh group leaders dress like this. Uh, that is a purple carcinogenic leather dye. Those are our jackets. They're called GPAs. We're not allowed to touch them until after we bring them home, and you don't get them until the night before your second last exam. You're not allowed to touch them before you bring them home. You then have to beat them up and dye them purple, but also they cost you $400. It's the same dye that you dye your skin with. You then slam them on the ground for two hours straight, and it's like a whole, like, coming of age thing. They also make us do the spray paint stuff to our hair day one and sleep in it for two nights. The first years also dyed themselves purple on homecoming because that's the cool thing to do. Then we continue to beat up our jackets for the rest of our time, try to make them yellow again, and we try to get these achievement bars to put on them. Some of them are really crude. You can look them up online on the wiki for the GPA bars. What's something that's not... What the hell? Not a cult, but seems like a cult. <laughs> Try every media or tech company that was started in the last 10 years. Speaking as someone that worked for BuzzFeed for three years, and I also have a lot of friends in the tech industry, it's a cult. You get company swag instead of raises and Christmas bonuses. Sometimes it's just a discount code for the merch store. And what do you think the higher-ups are doing when they say we're all family? It makes it really easy to gaslight you. Spoiler alert, you're family until you're not. I just remembered in a business leadership class that I took, one of the advice was verbatim start a cult. Okay, what? I mean, right there in your face. Something that's not a cult, but seems like a cult. DECA. Like all of it. And if you don't get what I'm saying, I'm sorry, I don't know how to help you. But if you are in DECA or know someone who is in DECA, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, what's okay. something that's not a cult, right. but seems like a cult? I'm about to unlock a memory for many Australian girls. A few years ago, it was peak fucking trendy to be 
in these Facebook groups called Blokes Advice and Girls Advice. The origin of these groups is typically like exactly what they're called, advice for specific genders. But then, but then, the offspring was bad girls advice. This shit was batshit insane. When I first joined it, I was obsessed with it and like so in love with all of the crazy shit you'd talk about. Like it was all like sexual topics about like all the crazy shit chicks did. But it just got out of hand, like really fucked up, like internally misogynistic like sort of call her daddy vibes where you're just like this is fucked and also just like a lot of like man hating shit i don't know i wasn't for it but it was cult for sure i still see the stickers on people's cars okay what stickers on people's cars i don't know it's from some over the, under, under the earth shit something that's not a cult but seems like a cult the giant dance studios that are like the size of a shopping mall the ones who bring like a hundred kids to competition. All the dance moms there look alike and they're all trying to be best friends, but they really just hate each other's guts. Every student's on like a contract there, like they're in the NFL or some shit. Oh, yeah. They always post videos on social media and that like triangle formation as they're doing choreography. And every single one of their dances consists of lifting one leg, doing fuetes and aerials. Okay. Dance moms. That's what he's talking about. I, I got the gist. What's something that's not a cult but seems like a cult? Church. So my Somebody else said it! <laughs> Dad's a pastor and growing up I spent more time at church during the week than my own house. Yes. I feel you. Well, she's like you, so you are. Shut up. People um, were falling on the ground and shaking, being possessed by the Holy Spirit. I wasn't allowed to wear anything above the knee or any sort of tank top, not even thick ones. I was raised being told by my mom that I was going to grow up and serve my husband, cooking, cleaning, all that shit. People I know get married right out of high school and um, so they can, you know. I was told that if I was a lukewarm Christian, meaning if I wasn't on fire for God, then I was going to hell. My parents literally told me that they didn't care what I did as long as I believed in God. People I know literally shun gay people, even their own kids. I've never heard my parents cuss and I've never seen them drink any alcohol. God is literally at the beginning of and end of every fucking conversation. Like for part two. Okay. That sounds like handmade steel shit too. I ain't have to go through all that that she said, but she's. What's something that's not a cult, but seems like a cult? Working for Mac Cosmetics. So I worked at Mac for two years. This is me at my counter. They expect you to drop your fucking life for their brand. Like, no joke. No joke. So the gag is, when you work there and you're an artist, it's fucking great. You live your life, go out, be wild, be free, have fun at the events, right? When you're a manager, it's the fucking worst. Um, fuck your days off. You can move those around. Um, you're supposed to bleed black. You're supposed to literally rep this brand like it's a fucking gang. The expectation that they put on you is like out of control. You literally can't be a human. You're expected to lead by example, AKA be fucking perfect. And um, work-life balance, <laughs> they don't know her. Someone calls out, you have to show up. Business is doing bad, it's your fault. What's something that's not a- that's retail and the make and makeup industry now, hold on. Yeah, true. So- I, I don't think, uh, I don't think Savage does that. I don't think Fenty does that though. Oh, they just, okay. They just fired you if you say some off the wall shit. <laughs> no chances for, no, no chances for a warning or any other step plan, just, you're done. Not a cult, but seems like a cult. Bitches that are into astrology, you motherfuckers are weird. Y'all be like, oh, he killed his mom, skinned his cat, and burned his house down? Must be a Capricorn. What? No. Or, oh, you're a Cancer? Yikes. Bitch, sorry my fucking parents decided to fuck in October. <laughs> or y'all see a bitch skipping down the hallway and y'all be like, she's a Virgo. She's a Virgo. Must be a Virgo. Has to be a Virgo. Virgo energy. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Yeah, yeah I can agree. I can agree. That shit's annoying. Like, oh, you're a Gemini? <gasps> That's because to gasp when you That's because we don't take no shit. <laughs> we don't we don't take no shit. Whatever. Hey, what's something that's not a cult but seems like a cult? White Christians. White Christians. 
And before you ask in my comments, one, I said what I said, I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. Two, no, I do not like y'all. Three, yes, I am generalizing all of you. And four, yes, I am absolutely bashing you. Just in case you thought there was any confusion. What's a video that lives in your head rent free? Oh well, it's the truth. I can understand. So. <laughs> I'm just happy that, you know, other people said exactly what I said. <laughs> I didn't hear anybody say corporate America though. Yeah, because we all we all actually like to have a roof and, and be civilized with stuff over It's our still head. the truth though. <laughs> But as always, Colliders, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Share it with someone else who you think will enjoy it. And of course, if you're not already a Collider, I don't know why you aren't. The subscribe button is right there, and it's free. So For now. <laughs> as always, if you want to check out TikTok News, their channel, or this video for yourself, the links will be in the description along with where you can follow me and the official W on our other perspective platforms. Anything else you want to add? No. Nope. Catch y'all next time. Bye, y'all. Thank you.